this may be a case of too little too late. So amazing. Everyone, please welcome to the show, Ty Smith. What is really on Focus and Focoramas? I am Ty Smith, Modern Renaissance Man. Welcome to my channel, Modern Renaissance Man. If you are someone who's been subscribed to my channel for a long time, double check to make sure that you are. But if you are fairly new to the channel, get an idea of what this channel is about. What do you do? Go to my channel, click on playlist. All these different things I do on this channel. See all these different thumbnails? Those are all different categories of things that I do on this channel, from comedy to cooking to DIY when it comes to fixing cars. There's a lot of things I do on this channel. So check the channel out in its entirety before you subscribe. I'm pretty sure you'll find something on here that you like. What's going on, folks and folk around us? Appreciate you guys all being here and rocking it out with me. Appreciate you guys all supporting the channel and what I'm doing here. Uh, thank you guys so much. I don't like this hanging like this. I know it's been like that for the last few videos, but I'm gonna change it around like that. But bam, but bam, yeah, I like this a little better. Okay. Anywho, appreciate you guys all being here and rocking it out with me. Appreciate y'all supporting my channel and what I do here. Appreciate the love and everything that you guys all send me. I'm so glad that y'all enjoy the content that I'm putting out. But what will be even more enjoyable and appreciated by you if you guys would all go into your phone and look in your contact list and share this channel with folks you know to share like values. Okay, like us common sense folk. All right, folks, so you guys all seen the title right here, and I hope the thumbnail was something that gravitated y'all towards this way. Anyway, Anheuser-Busch's ex admits that Dylan Mulvaney backlash was a wake-up call and vows that Bud Light is coming back. Bud Light sales have, of course, y'all know, have plummeted since it partnered with the trans TikTok influencer, and rightfully so. Let me make this completely clear. This has nothing to do with the fact that Dylan Mulvaney is, I don't even know what he is right now, but the last video I did on him, he actually said, oh, now he's interested in girls now. And the dad said, I would love to see you get a girl pregnant. He goes, oh no, I would be the one being pregnant. Yeah, anyway, nothing to do with him being trans or anything like that. It had everything to do with people are sick and tired of you using men to completely demoralize women. What y'all like to do is try to make it seem, when I say y'all, I'm talking about the alphabet community. What you guys like to do is make it seem like because somebody doesn't like what you do, like how you dress, like you think that people are doing it because they do not like you and what you're about. Normal Americans don't care, but we also will have the same type of smoke or the same type of, uh, what's the word? Look, animosity for you if you were trying to demoralize men. If you're going to be part of the alphabet community, then be it. But don't sit there and try to demoralize straight people because, as you can see, a very small percentage of y'all are about that life, which means the majority are not about that life. You guys have been completely bamboozled in the mind on this social media platforms, thinking that that is the world that because you see so much on social media, you see it all on Netflix, you see it all in the movies, a lot of the narratives and ideology and all that stuff is pushed in there. You think that that's the real world and it's not. It's not at all. The internet is not the real world. The real world is going outside, right? So my point in saying all that is this. When we are reading between the lines that you guys are demoralizing straight people, it's only a matter of time before straight people fight back. And this is a prime example right here. Women and men pissed off that this happened. He sat there and made a mockery of women. Men, women are being made a mockery of to the extent to where you can't even define one. I can. It's very easy. But a lot of people act like they can't because they're going along with this world crazy rhetoric. Anyway, let me digress from that, folks. Sorry about that. Just had to give you all a nice little intro on that piece right there. All right. So let's see here. Let me make this a little bigger for the people that can't read this in the back. No, I'm just kidding because you guys are not going to see nothing anyway. All right, so peep game, folks. A top Anheuser Bush executive spoke candidly about the backlash the company received after Bud Light partnered with trans influence Sir Dylan Mulvaney. The beers giant global chief marketing officer Marcel Marcondes appeared at the Canes Lions International Festival on Monday and addressed the boycott movement that caught fire earlier this year after Mulvaney promoted Bud Light on social media. He said. It's tough to see the controversial and, device and divisive debates that have been happening in the U.S. in the last couple of weeks involving lots of brands and companies, including especially Bud Light. He went on to say that according to a report, it's tough exactly because what we do is all about bringing people together. 
No. What y'all did here divided people. That's exactly what happened here. You divided people. You know what? This is very interesting because my wife has her degree and her degree is that in marketing. My wife even looked at this and said that was one of the dumbest marketing moves they could have made there. She said, why in the world would they want to pander to a minority of people who don't even drink as much beer as most straight men? She said, this right here is going to kill them. It's going to, ah, she said, I don't know how bad it's going to be, but my wife flat out said, this is going to hurt them. She was absolutely right. It didn't just hurt them. Ooh, it's hurting bad. It's hurting bad. And I'm glad it is. He went on to said that this is a wake up call for marketers like himself. Oh, wow. He said, it's very, he said, to, he said, it's matters like this for himself is going to make him very humble during such divisive times. Americans. Americans, my brothers and sisters, thank y'all. This is what we need to do with every last one. You know what? We need to do this with public schools. We really need to do this with public schools. Let me digress from that. He said in times like this, when things get divisive and controversial so easily, I think it's an important wake up call to all of us marketers. First of all, to be very humble. That's what we're doing, being very humble and really reminding ourselves of what we should do best every day which is to really understand our consumers, which is to be really, he said, which is to really celebrate and appreciate every consumer that loves our brand, but in a way that can make them be together, not apart. Y'all should have stuck with the goddamn on horses and the funny little things. Y'all remember the bird? Y'all remember the frog? But wise. Err. Y'all remember that? But wise. Err. Remember the horses? Remember, what's that? Remember all that? But oh no, oh no. I'm going to say this. I don't care what they say. You guys all know, and just like my wife, who, like I said, my wife, she's a marketing expert. My wife flat out said they tried to ride the wave of all the stuff that's going on with people pandering to the LGBTQ alphabet community. She said they tried to ride the wave of all that stuff that they were doing in media, all the attention they were getting. We knew that Pride Month was coming up. She said they was already trying to go ahead and get things going so their sales can jump up, but it plummeted. Majority rules, unless it's an election. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> I'm just playing. That means that if that's the case, you know, there's something called, you know, they give God dominion and power and match the dominion and power. Y'all know what I'm getting at. Anyway, just throwing shots in there. I had to, had to, sorry. Anyway, back to the lecture at hand. He went on to insist that Bud Light will make a comeback saying it's a brand that should bring people together. That's what Bud Light stands for. It exists to make beer easy to drink and easy to enjoy. That's what we all as a team will be moving forward as a group. That's what leaders do. He said, Bud Light is coming back. It's going all around the country, reconnecting with consumers moving forward. That's what you can expect from Bud Light in the U S Bud Light suffered a massive sell decline in recent months after Mulvaney began plugging the beer, even sending a can with the TikTok stars image on it. Things only got worse for the beer brand when it's vice president of marketing, Alyssa swiped its core consumers by saying, Bud Light's past advertising was fratty and out of touch humor. Bud Light lost its status as a top selling beer in the U.S. as its parent company and has a bush lost 27 billion in stock value since March. And again, I say to my fellow brothers, American, my fellow brothers and sisters, my fellow American brothers and sisters. <laughs> LGBTQ alphabet community. This is not about y'all. This is not about y'all. This is about people effing around and finding out. Folks are tired. They're done. Kids are tired for trying to shove this stuff down people's throat, shove it in people's face, make people try to accept it. Well, guess what? I can tell you right now, and it's always going to happen this way. Money talks. Hmm? Money talks. You want to know why they started trying to not force people to get that hokey pokey no more? Money talks. If there's no work, the companies can't produce. If there's no production, they don't make money. If they don't make money, they crash. Oh, come on back. We'll, we'll come you back. We're going to give you all. I bet you are. Money talks. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope 
that you that are listening to me, if y'all, y'all first y'all need to share this video, I'm telling you, it's very, very important that you share this video because I want to let everybody know that you share this video with, we have to keep hitting them where it hurts and that's their pocketbooks. We have to keep hitting them there. We need to collab and I'm doing this with a few people I know in the Illinois area, how we can do this same exact thing when it comes to these schools. I get that a lot of them are government funded and all that. The public schools are red line. I get all that. I get all the things they try to do when they try to gerrymander certain things. I get all that. No matter what, remember what Ty said to you. Money talks. I'm not going to lie. I hope Budweiser, I hope y'all tank. That's what happens when you mess around. This is what happens when you do stupid things like this. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. I hope this happens to Cole. I hope it continues to happen to Target. I hope anybody that's trying to force anyone to accept anybody's lifestyle, religion, any of that. I hope that anybody that's trying to force anybody to like it and have no say-so against it, to not have any type of disagreement with it. I hope all of y'all suffer just as much as Bud Light suffers because we the people are the majority. We the people have spoken and you... The sellers have been broken. You better wake up. Folks, don't forget to hit that like button before y'all get out of here. And I appreciate the super chats. I also appreciate you that have sent in Cash App. For those that don't know what the Cash App is, it's the Cash App sign, Modern Renaissance Man. You can find me on Instagram as Modern Renaissance Man. The O in Modern is a zero. You can find me on TikTok as Modern Renaissance Man. The O in Modern is a zero. You can find me on Rumble as Modern Renaissance Man Variety Channel. You can find me on Instagram. I already gave it that now. You can find me on uh what Twitter. You can find me on Twitter as the real Ty Smith. I might be missing one, but I don't know. You'll figure it out. Look in the description below. That's what they say. Some of y'all don't even know what that means. But anyway, meanness from the bottom of my heart, whether you are in agreement with me or disagreement with me, no matter what your race, religion, creed, whatever the case may be, as long as you are all about fighting against evil, we're together on this, all right? I am Ty Smith, Modern Renaissance Man, hoping and praying that every last one of you have food, shelter, and clothing. And I pray that every last one of you guys are in great health. God bless you all through Jesus. What's going on, everybody? So, hey, check this out. I appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate you taking time out of your day to view these videos. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Give the video a thumbs up. And also, right here is where you can catch the next video, the latest video that I've done. But like right up here, this is stuff that I've done kind of in the past. So in this area, you might find a video that I've done in the past. It can be funny, it can be something serious. It does not matter, but this is something that you can also do to check out more material that I do in my channel because I do a lot in this channel, all right? So again, appreciate everything from you guys. Keep on watching it, keep on supporting it, and God bless you all.